a significant development for military technology, the U.S. Air Force Armaments Directorate, in collaboration with the Defense Innovation Unit, has chosen Enduro Industries Barracuda 500 Autonomous Aerial Vehicle for the next stage of its Enterprise Test Vehicle ETV program. This initiative is part of a broader effort to create a high-performance, modular, and cost-effective missile platform, with a primary focus on enhancing the military's missile capabilities using commercially available components. The ETV program, which aims to design a missile system that is not only efficient but also affordable, has gained significant traction, with the Barracuda 500 missile being at the forefront of this innovation. Enduro Industries, a key player in the defense sector, has been instrumental in developing the Barracuda 500, which is expected to serve as a key platform for the production of ultra-low-cost cruise missiles. These missiles are designed to be modular, making them adaptable to various operational needs. Enduro's Barracuda 500 has been making notable strides in terms of its design and performance. Over the last seven months of its involvement in the ETV project, the missile has undergone significant design refinements and has successfully completed flight tests. In September 2024, the Barracuda 500 marked a key achievement by completing a vertical launch test. It autonomously navigated for over 30 minutes, demonstrating its ability to lock onto a target using GPS coordinates. This successful test flight has set the stage for a series of further assessments. The upcoming tests for the Barracuda 500 are expected to include several critical capabilities. These will evaluate its potential to launch multiple missiles simultaneously, its communication abilities in flight, and its coordination with other missiles during missions. With a range that exceeds 926 kilometers and a flight time surpassing 2 hours, the Barracuda 500's potential to serve as a low-cost, long-range cruise missile is evident. The Pentagon's efforts to develop a simpler, more affordable missile system are reflected in its decision to encourage the use of off-the-shelf commercial components. Launched in June 2024, the ETV competition is focused on creating a cruise missile that can be produced quickly and at low cost by utilizing readily available, non-military-grade parts. This initiative is expected to not only streamline the logistics of missile production but also ensure that the U.S. military can rapidly deploy these weapons in times of need. The goal is to keep production costs low while ensuring the missiles meet the necessary performance standards. The project aims for each missile to cost no more than $150,000 in mass production, which is a significant reduction compared to traditional military-grade systems. Furthermore, the ETV program aims to integrate these new cruise missiles seamlessly into existing fighter aircraft systems without requiring extensive modifications, thereby ensuring quick deployment and usability. Four companies were initially selected to participate in the ETV program. Enduro Industries, Lidos Dynetics, Zone 5 Technologies, and Integrated Solutions for Systems. However, as the competition progresses, only Enduro and Zone 5 have advanced to the next phase. This development signals the potential for groundbreaking advances in military technology that could reshape the future of cruise missile systems. As Enduro continues to optimize the Barracuda 500's design and operational capabilities, it is becoming increasingly clear that the future of missile technology lies in the combination of affordability, efficiency, and innovation. With its successful flight tests and forthcoming evaluations, the Barracuda 500 is poised to play a crucial role in redefining the capabilities of the U.S. Air Force's missile systems in the coming years. In summary, the selection of the Barracuda 500 for the Enterprise Test Vehicle Program marks a significant step forward in the development of cost-effective, high-performance missile systems. By embracing new technologies and utilizing commercial components, the U.S. Air Force is positioning itself to rapidly enhance its missile capabilities while ensuring that these innovations remain accessible and scalable. The future of defense technology looks poised for transformation, and the Barracuda 500 is at the forefront of this revolution.